Hey girl, how you doing? And from here, welcome back to my channel. This Pinky's YouTube channel. And we're so glad that y'all stopped in today. Um, if it's your first time here, you're in for a treat. Because on this channel, this video is going to be real short today. As y'all can see, I'm halfway partially dressed for bed. Um, we talk about everything on this channel. From what's in my bag, to travel, to shopping hauls, to children, grandchildren, exes anxiety depression and anything else but most important we talk about god so seeing that we talk about god let me give y'all a scripture okay because this thing here came real to me yesterday and this is why i want to jump on here and uh make this quick shopping haul video and this is coming out of matthew uh chapter 14 which is the background for my ministry the woman with the alabaster box and I had to deal with something yesterday and reading this scripture since it happened in my head. I want to read it to you and share. Uh, and Judas is scared. Matthew 14 and 10. And Judas is scared. Y'all know Judas. He was the tricker. He was the betrayer. He was the sellout, the cop out. He's one who sold Jesus out for 30 pieces of silver. He said, and Judas is scared. One of the 12 went unto the chief priest to betray him unto them. And when they heard it, they were glad and promised to give him money. And he sought how he might conveniently betray him. Key word is convenient. Now, I, I say this scripture because it hit home yesterday real hard. Um, sisters and brothers, if you have a family member you're trying to hook up with somebody, you should know that person you're trying to hook up with your sister or brother well enough to know that your sister and brother ain't the one. Don't, don't. I, I have a brother who's deceased. I have two brothers that's deceased. One of them tried to get with a couple of my friends over the years before he passed. I'm, and I'm like, no, bro, I ain't doing that. I, I, I appreciate you and I love you as my brother, but I know you. I have another brother, the baby brother. He he don't deal with black people. He don't, he don't deal with black. He never. So when I have... Uh, black friends try to get me to hook them up with my brother. Now, sis, you're not his type. So you ought to know your sibling well enough to know what they like. You ought to know your friend well enough what they don't like. Okay? So, long story short, sister girl, her brother tried to hit on me, and I told her, he said that she introduced us, and I called her. I said, look, I got fibromyalgia. I got a lot of fog on the brain, and I forget a lot. Help me remember when we, when you introduced him to me. Because I told you from the bat, that ain't the one. I'm content, single. I, I live in this little 12 by 24 <laughs> square foot cabin. I'm content. Uh, but... At the end of the day, it took me to a place where my blood pressure skyrocketed. And Deborah, we was coming back home, witnessed it. And she was seeing the effect of where she was taking me in our conversation and saying, yeah, I understand, I understand. I said, no, the hell you don't understand because I ain't got a word in yet. So you don't even know what I need to say for you to say you understand. So basically what she did was took me back to that place of trauma with me having PTSD to 1990 when I was sexually assaulted and I reported it to my supervisor and she defended the man. And when I got to thinking about it, I said, Deborah, I said, I said I'm back in that spot in Germany in 1990. I said, I, I feel God is fixing to bless me now because of this attack. Because she defended him, even though I have never seen this man face to face, have no intention or desire to because I'm content with me being me by myself and it took me to the place where I had to do some drastic measures to bring my blood pressure down at eight o'clock last night and when I did I when I woke up it was four o'clock this morning for about 20 minutes and then four o'clock again this evening and at that point my aunt was calling me and asking are you okay because the car had not moved there was no tracking of me on social media. So my aunt is now worried at 82 because I'm there's no movement of me. And I said all I have to say is that if there's somebody that has betrayed you, send them a thank you note. Okay. 
behind that because God getting ready to bless you because of the betrayer, the one that betrayed you. But let's go and jump into this. Uh, PTSD is real. You know, it, we look okay, but most days when I shut down and shut up and there's no tracking of me, I'm, I'm in a PTSD moment. And it's best for me and people for me to stay by myself because I've already exploded on the inside because of the intrusion from the desert, from, from the war, from being in the, you know, being a victim of whatever the attacks were. And there were many, I, I could go back to 1983 when those attacks started, uh, sexual attacks. I told y'all, I tell everything a lot. You can call CNN, MSN, NBC, ABC, CBS, you call all them C's. I tell on myself first, but with those attacks are started in basic training in 1982. I can go back that far and further of where this stuff started and like a, a crock pot that sealed held it in for much much longer than I should have until it exploded okay so that's why my therapy is shopping my therapy is it's thrift stores I could walk around a thrift store for hours just to release and to de-stress and and buying what I like, which is juicy, which I'm going to show y'all now, because I got a nosy sister, y'all remember my sister down in Georgia when we went to my ex-husband's funeral last month, well, she right now, right this very minute, is binge watching all my uh, YouTube videos, and had me on the phone, listening to me talk about what's in my bag, I'm like, I'm going to let you go now, since you ain't talking, I just hear me talking through your phone, while you binge watching on my YouTube channel, she like, I can't believe you, I can't believe you did that. I'm like, well, I did. And I'm going to go make another video and tell that you're doing it now. So um, the other day, I think it was Saturday or Sunday. I don't know. My days run into each other because I don't wear watches. Don't have a calendar. Well, I got a calendar, but it don't do me no good. But the other day, I was in Sugarland, Texas. And I want to say it was Sunday because I was going to see my grandbaby for her birthday, which was Monday. And I didn't make it because she was out. Door dashing, <laughs> she was out making money. 10, she's 10. So, all y'all ain't, ain't got no job, you, got no, you ain't got no excuse. She's 10 and she was door dashing, but I stopped because I couldn't catch her, so I just turned around and came back home. But on my way, I stopped at every Ross, every Burlington store on my way back home, which was about eight Ross's, Burlington's, and Marshall's. <laughs> I was on a mission, I went in those stores looking for one thing. And in that section, I found this, y'all. I, I, I'm just tired. This is why this house coat is on. I'm really not this fat. If I want to lose like 15 inches, I'm going to take this house coat off, but I ain't. But I found this juicy, and I wore it yesterday in my yellow sweater. I had on some yellow socks and some uh, pants that had a lot of butterflies and a lot of yellow butterflies in it. And so everybody's like, oh, you so cute. I said, I know, girl. <laughs> I know. I said, this ain't my color, but I, I couldn't find this hat it peaked, but I'm walk, rocking this yellow. <laughs> and so on yesterday, uh, Deborah from next door, really not next door, from the next field over. She ain't nobody next door but my auntie. She's a field... You, if you want to exercise, you go to Deborah's house. You walk to Deborah's house. That's that's exercise. And uh, we took her, drop her car off at the mechanic, and we just kept rolling. We hit, I don't know if we hit any, no, we did one thrift store in Burlington and Ross. I said, honey, when we get to Katie Mills, we're going to go in Burlington, get back in the car, and drive around the Ross, because I don't feel like doing all that walking. Because that's, that's on, Burlington's on this end, the Mills. Ross is on that end of the mills on the other side of the building. And the Katie Mills is like 16 football fields, literally 16 football fields long. So we get in one of them stores. The first store we go in, Burlington. I have an eyeball in this thing. Cotton candy pink, y'all. And uh, let me go on free the tag. I, see, I was so messed up yesterday, I couldn't even free this tag. So let's go on free this tag and see what's on the inside. It was $10. Y'all know I'm getting this stuff ready for my cruise, right? I, I got a sundress for this, for the cruise. Yes. I ain't taking that many wigs. Maybe two. But uh, I had been eyeballing this. 
And for some reason, now I really got to get up and find my scissors. But anywho, it got a lot of paper in it. And there's supposed to be a bottle in there. Yeah, there's a little bottle right there. But it's that cotton candy, soft pink, that matches my toiletry bag that I got from Ju for Juicy. To carry on the cruise. I don't know what I'm putting in because I got like probably about 10 Juicy uh, little bags like this now. Uh, I was really in search of the white weekender because I messed around. They let me see that and I didn't get it. So when I saw that white weekender, that's why I stopped at every Ross Burlington and Marshalls on the way home the other day to see if one of them stores just might so happen to have it. They didn't. They had um, aqua, which was gorgeous. They had a black one, which was gorgeous. But my mind was set on that white one to go with my two pink ones. So if I don't see it by the end of the month, I'm going to have to go online and just see if my sister will order it for me because I got her a gift yesterday because we're going on the cruise together she said I'm ready to go back on the ship I'm like we'll book it and we on it so in Burlington yesterday the same Burlington I'm walking up and down the little aisles where the purses and stuff is and I come out on the end and Deborah said Veronica, look 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 so I'm like what is it Deborah so I was watching her point and I just turned around and I go <gasps> Deborah, look, 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 look. She said, that's what I was trying to tell you. White. Patent white. Look at this. And they had five of them. I said, oh, I can't get all five of them. I can't get all five of them. I will not, I will not get all five of them. And so, I picked up one, and I told Deborah, I said, maybe I should get my sister one, since we're going on the cruise. She said, really? I'm like, yeah, since we going on the cruise, maybe I should get her one. So, I turn around, and I got her one. So, with your nosy self. You know who you are, sister, Cheryl. Got your boo. I got your boo. So this was the color of the one I seen. That was the Weekender. And the Weekender is probably this long. And probably about the same. This is white. You can use it as a weekend bag, but it was in white. So I'm trying to still find. If y'all see that, let me know, okay? Leave me a comment below. Inbox me. Email me. Phone me. Send me a message through stool pitch carry or something. Let me know where that white weekender juicy couture bag is. So I can get that for my cruise. But for right now, oh, there was two other things. <laughs> I'm so ready to go to bed. Oh. These little things here for five dollars out of Marshalls. A bon voyage and a cruising. Little bag tag. I don't know. I might give her one. What y'all think? Should I give her one of these? I'm going to keep one and give her one. Ain't going to be no check bag. I don't check Juicy. I just have to put Juicy on the walker and push it like I always do. But Juicy ain't getting checked. So one of these will go in one of my bags. And then also I got this. I guess it's face pillow. It's eye pillow. Okay, the Y is missing. Eye pillow. Lavender scented. There's no scent in it. It was on sale for $2 down from, I think, 5 uh, But I got some oil to put in it. You know, I'll probably put some clary sage in it. Because clary sage is good for girls like me who suffer through mental pause. You know, you know those symptoms of menopause, they help you calm down. You might want to tear somebody's head off because we having heat waves in the middle of the winter. Because it's like 27 degrees in here. And I know the moment I get up under the blanket, I'm going to have to kick it off because of menopause. So, honey, if you have not hit that button and rung that bell yet, I need you to go on over there, walk your little fingers over there and hit that button and then pull that bell and ring the bell. So the next time that Pinky uploads a video, 
Google can track you down and let you know, I'm not doing that. I don't have time to do that. Google will track you down. And Google will let you know that Pinky has just uploaded a video. Y'all need to go see what kind of craziness she's talking about today. So if you have not smiled today, <laughs> girl, what you waiting on? From ain't gonna smile. It ain't, no, it ain't gonna get no better till you smile. You gotta learn to laugh at the face of adversity so that you can thrive in the midst of it. And then they be looking at you and wondering why she's still smiling. Why he's still smiling out there. Everything he going through. Go through it with a smile. And know that God loves you and ain't nothing you can do about that. Okay? So until next time, y'all have a good one. God bless you.